Hey guys, welcome to my podcast and uh, today we have our guest Finn from HTI. Finn, can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, I'd love to. My name's Finn Moore. Um, I'm 15 years old. I'm from Australia. I've been playing hockey for about five years now and this is my first year here at HTI. This is nice. So, um, to be honest, this is my first podcast on English, so uh, if my English is not that much good, sorry. And um, how are you doing? I'm good, yeah. I'm excited to be here. Okay, yeah. so you do it here only ice hockey or also you studying here? I am studying here as well. So yeah, I'm playing on the team, on the U18 team, mm -hmm. but I'm also studying at the school here. Mm -hmm. So I'm... Um, like half my day will be for hockey and the other half I'll be studying. Okay, school. okay. So how did you choose to come here? Well, I, my coach back home in Australia, mm -hmm. Jeff O'Hara, he came to HDI when Say he was to playing Jeff. hockey. <laughs> hi Jeff, <laughs> I hope he's watching. Okay. But he, he um, played hockey for HDI back when Jenya and Rob played. Oh really? Yeah, he played with them. So he's been friends with them for a while and um, He's always talked to me about HCI and then I've had another person that I've trained with, Ava Caruso, who's okay. on the girls team, the U21 girls team. Oh, she nice. She came here last year and she really liked it, so then we decided that I would come this year. I came for a camp uh -huh. last year in a summer camp. Ah, in July. In July, and I got invited back for the start of this year. This is nice. Okay, so uh, tell me about uh, like hockey level at your country. And, uh, and here, like, do you feel a progress from the beginning of season to the end of season? Yeah, well, I mean, hockey back in Australia, it obviously doesn't snow there. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's, a, it's a so much, it's so, so small. The game okay. is so small back home. If you want to pursue hockey, you have to go overseas to Europe, to North America. Okay. Wherever you go, you have to move overseas because there's not enough ice time back home. Yeah. I think there's about five rinks in my area. Oh, in nice. an hour drive, so ah, in an hour okay. circle around my house, it's about five rinks, and there's just not enough ice time to get on the ice. Yeah. So you have to come overseas. So I've come here, obviously to Canada, to train and to play, and I've just the level is so much so different. It's such a high level here. Yeah. Just the amount of teams, the amount of ice time, the coaching level, the players level, the skill level. Yeah. It's just such a step up, and it's definitely improved my game as well. Yeah. Being here. Yeah. And uh, how many like uh, how many games you played this this year? Like friendship games, this official year. games, yeah, yeah, scrimmages. So I <clears throat> I came halfway into the season. The season started in, ah, in okay. September. Yes, and I came early January, the first of January, because um, I got invited, and then we were packing and saving up money so I could come over here. Uh -huh. So I arrived in January, and we played. The season was still going. So we played, I'd say about, I played 20 games with HCI. This is so good. Yeah, a great amount of games. We played against expedition games in Ottawa, in Gatineau, against a universal team, a college team there. Yeah. We played against teams um, in the local area around Toronto and Barrie. Did you play the, in the USA? USA? We haven't played in the US yet, but the girls team have. They've gone down to the US a few times, to mm -hmm. Ohio, to Florida. Um, Boston and they play games. It was going by bus, right? Yeah, we have a team bus, team coach that we take yeah. uh, for games. To be honest, I think uh, it's a really great uh, program because at this campus you have everything pretty much. You have a place to stay, you have three times a, yeah. like meal, shooting zone, and then school, yeah. gym, and like also we saw the playing zone in downstairs. Yeah. So how do you like all this area? It's great. Like it's it's perfect. It's everything you need to succeed. It's everything you need to like you, you can't get bored here. There's always stuff yeah. to do. Like you said, the shooting area to practice our shots. We have downstairs, we have the gym, there's a games room with a yeah. pool table and a ping pong table and stuff we can do down there. There's we have a media room where we study film, we have team meetings. Mm -hmm. It's just it's all, there's so much to do here. It's such a great team environment. With mm -hmm. your team, you can go shoot, you can go work out, you can go do all these things in your own time as well. Yeah. So it means if you want to get better, you have the facilities to get better. 
And yeah, you, you, you can focus on yeah, your Yeah, you can focus stuff. on yourself. Yeah. yeah, there is nothing to who can bother you. And yeah. uh, did you make a friend here? Yeah, I've made lots of friends. I think the team environment's great here. Yeah. I think I have a great team. I came later in the season, as I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. But um, I was here for summer camp and I met a few people there. So I was coming into an environment where I knew a few people. But I definitely were there. Was there were some new faces? Yeah, and I yeah, I've made lots of friends on both teams, the girls and the boys team. Yeah, it's a great environment. This is nice because you coming here and uh, you you getting friends for from all over the world. Yeah, all over the world. Yeah, this is uh, very interesting to learn someone's culture. Yeah, I think this is this is great, and uh, I also uh, see that the uh, girls and boys they are very. How to friendly? Yeah, and uh, um, not every not every player, not every kid, they are like open-minded and uh, yeah. Um, how how you got like into the team if you feel like a bit closed? Like how do we like, bond or like? Yeah, yeah. Like well, that. I think. Like I mentioned, we're doing we're together all the time. We're yeah. doing so many things. Like we're having our meals together. We're going to school together. We're working out together. We're on the ice together. And we've gone through ups and downs together. Yeah. We've had fun. We've gone through hard times. We've had really hard workouts. Uh -huh. We've had lots of fun at the beach. If we've gone to do team activities together. So I think it's all just being around each other so much. We've gotten yes. to know each other, and we've just spent so much time that we're like we're all really close. Yeah, because obviously right now um, to be a good hockey player, it's not enough to be a good physical only. You have to be also mentally up, like emotionally yeah. stable, and um, yeah. all this stuff. And it's good that uh, here you can do uh, something like team building and um, and all this stuff. Like, um, how's the mentality in your country and here? Yeah, well, it's definitely like. Uh, the, the skill level isn't bad back home. It's not bad competition, but it's just nothing compared to here. Like, mm -hmm. in it, it's not as serious. It's not as competitive. Like, it's just it's too easy back home. It's too lenient, laid back. Mm -hmm. Whereas here, everyone's tr everyone's here at HCI to get better, yeah. to push themselves. So everyone's here and they have the same goal to get better. Yeah. So it's really easy to get better when you have people around you that want to get better. And you build really quickly. You build strong relationships because you're all working towards a goal, and you've, you've seen each other through all the highs and lows of this this journey. And yeah, you can form really strong relationships. Oh, this is nice. And the like reasonable question you said that uh, you went here in you started here from January, and the level was very high. How did you? felt yourself like uh, at the games, at the like first games and how did you handle the like because I'm a hockey player from Kazakhstan and when I was first time in Canada it was so much high level for me. I felt myself like first time, like maybe first two, three months I guess, I felt myself like a bit down because I want to but I can't yet something yeah. like that. Yeah. I think it's it's a, it's a lot like that. Like it's for me, especially coming from a country where I'm only training on the ice two, three times a week. Mm -hmm. Coming here, where they're training every day since they were five years old. Mm -hmm. It's the skill levels immensely. It's such an immense difference between me and the team, my teammates, and everyone else. But and it's definitely hard mentally when you know that you can perform, but it just it's so different, it's so much faster, it's so it's more, much more physical, yes. and you're struggling to keep up. So that's definitely been a tough mental challenge for me. But I've, I've talked to my, my parents about it and my coaches lots, and I'm just trying to work on what I can do. It's a long journey. Yeah. It's a long, long journey. It's not going to happen in a week or yes. a month or even a year. It's going to happen over a course of five years, yeah. a course of three years where I'm going to get better and I'm getting better every day and I can see myself getting better from when I came here to now. Yeah. I've improved so much more than I have back home. It's it's crazy how much I've improved, but yeah, it's yeah, it's I definitely be, I working. Believe, <laughs> yeah. I believe and the, the coaches here uh, like do they support you? Yeah. Yeah, it's a great environment to have. Like we have we have about four coaches um, in total yeah. for the HR program. 
and they're all great. Like, and, and we have coaches living with us in the dorms. We have coaches that are here that are looking after us. So we form quite strong relationships with them. Yeah. And we we become good friends with them, and we we work out with them, and we run the ice with them, and we hang out with them after in free time. So they're really encouraging. They're really supportive, and it's like they know they understand that especially for the boys team, it's our first year. Yeah. We're a brand new team. Yes. So we're, we're not struggling, but we've definitely been, it's definitely been a tough season because we're, we're trying to get players and build a team. And yes. We're playing a few games here and there, expedition games. But they've been, coaches have been great, really encouraging and supportive, especially for me coming from overseas and moving away from my family and all that. Yeah, that's, that's the, like, uh, that's the point why I'm asking because, uh, in 2017, when I first time arrived to Calgary from Kazakhstan, it was very long, long way from yeah. home, and uh, I was alone. I I very much missed my family, my sister, and after one month, I guess, I started to be really like homesick. Yeah, homesick. <laughs> Something yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah, I've I've definitely been very homesick while I've been here, but I think in this like day and age with social media, texting, calling, FaceTime, I've been able to keep, to catch up with them and I've been able to talk to them and spend time with them virtually. Yeah. So that's been that's been nice for me. I've, I've, I've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed being able to still see their faces and hear their voices every yeah. now and then. So I think it's, I was definitely very homesick. Like it's, I'm about a 15 hour flight across the other side yeah, of the world yeah, yeah. to get back to Australia for me. But it's, it's every day when I'm training and when I'm working towards a goal, I'm, I'm happy, I'm, I'm smiling because I know that this is what they, they believe in me and I, this is what I want to do and they yeah. support me. So, yeah, that it's, helps a lot. It's a good, like, when you have your big dream in yeah. front of you and <clears throat> it's motivating you every day. And, you know, like, I'm very impressed by you. Like, you're only 15 and yeah. you're so smart, you're so open-minded and you can understand lots of things. Like, because I arrived the uh, first time to Canada when I was 24. Yeah. But this, like, academy is really something like you growing up with this, not only at hockey, but also at life, and you are stronger inside of you. And um, yeah. I think this program is really nice because they're just throwing you to the pool. Yeah. <laughs> you have having friends. You, uh, you have to figure it out by yourself. Yeah, like. yeah. It's definitely like it can be tough for some people and it's tough for everyone. It was tough for me. But, yeah, as you said, it's, we get thrown straight in head first and we kind of have to figure it out for ourselves. But if we can, if we can get past that initial stage, yeah. we're stronger as a team, we're stronger together, we're stronger individually and it really helps build a, gr- a great, like, a great mentality, a great sense of, like a sense of self. You become stronger within yourself and um, a better part of the team as well. Yeah. When you all, when it, you're figuring things out for yourself, you're doing things on your own, you're living, living by yourself and living on your own. So it's, it's yeah. definitely, you learn a lot and you pick because up Because when you will come home, like get back to home, I think uh, you will be much like, Mm, mature self-caring yeah yeah, mature, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah this is true independent yeah. independent this is uh, what i'm trying to say right and um well uh i wish you all the good luck yeah in the upcoming you. season and yeah um what are you gonna do in the summer in the summer well i'm going home soon i'm on my way home um back to australia for about three months Okay. So yeah, so I'm going to be continue my training, of course, on the ice with my coaches, and then off ice training. So I'll be in the gym a lot. But I'm going to spend time with my family. Of course. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I can't wait to see them. It's been it's been almost it's been over five months. Okay. Since I've seen them, that's like that's the longest I've gone. Yeah. I've not seen them ever, of course. But so yeah, I'm going to spend lots of time with them. Do some other sports, some swimming, um, basketball, get out in the sun, enjoy. Enjoy the weather. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Be <sorry>. in shape. <laughs> yeah, get in shape. Yeah. Will you come here uh, for a camp or you will just uh, get back here from the beginning of season? I'm back here at the beginning of the season. So, yeah, I stayed for, like, we're currently in the spring program. The season ended in um, 
in May. Yes. So I'm here for the spring program. We went down to Florida for a showcase. The yeah. girls had a showcase and we were training there with them. So um, yeah, I've stayed for the spring program. We have tournaments on next weekend as well. Oh, okay. In Toronto. Yeah, so we're playing in Toronto in a couple tournaments. The last few weekends we played the first weekend and the second weekend of the month we play tournaments. Yeah. Um, so I've stayed, I've stayed for the extra month for this, this spring program and then I'm going to go home for the three months and then be back for the next season. Wow, it's a, it's a good plan to be honest. Uh, the question I forgot to ask, like, uh, do you want to study here after this prep school? Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure yet, like it's, it's all so new to me, like how it all works, but I'd love to, I think I want to play college, I want to get, get a, go somewhere for my academics and play hockey as well. Yeah. So I'm, yeah, like studying really hard in school, trying to keep my grades up so I can hopefully, when I finish here, I can study at a college or I can go play college or play like yeah. Div, Div 3 or Div 1. Is in, there, in Australia, you also... Uh, do a 12th grade or no? 12th grade? Yeah, we have 12th grade. I'm in 10th grade now. Yeah, so two more years. I have two more years and then I have a gap year yeah. where I can choose to go somewhere. I can keep training here, which is what some of the older girls have done, which I've yeah. talked to about. But yeah, so I think I'm going to try and finish up school and then have a look at pathways for me to go to, to go to college or to go to universities in the States or in Canada. Yeah. So, yeah. Wow. It's yeah. nice. I, I wish you really like good luck. And yeah. you are so passionate about hockey and I, th I, I feel like you know what you're doing and where you're going, yeah. which, is, which is really great right now because um, this era of kids, they are all at the smartphones, yeah. they're lazy, they are eating not healthy, yeah. uh, they want just to relax and lay down, watch TV, but um, it's, it's very different that uh, you're doing. Yeah. And I hope that our uh, podcast today was very helpful for uh, our, for the people who are watching us. And yeah. like, it's, it's also the big thank, uh, thanks to your parents because yeah. they, uh, they gave you all this stuff. Like, yeah. um, you uh, you travel to <laughs> another side of yeah. of the planet, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. uh, right now you know what to do exactly. And uh, yeah, I, I I'm impressed, and I wish you good luck because of that. And then I have a like a small present oh. you have to choose. So this one is lasers, hockey lasers oh. uh, from my brand, Carpenter yeah. Hockey, and you can choose like which one you want. It's like. Neon, um, orange, and green neon, I guess. Can I have the orange? Sure. Add the orange, yeah. <laughs> thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, you're welcome. These are really cool. Yeah, and thank you for being in my podcast. Yeah, um, thank you for having me. It was great. It was really fun. Yeah. If you have, a, like, Instagram or something, we can put it on this side. Yeah. And uh, I will put my Instagram address here and HTI Hockey Instagram here. And... Uh, Let's keep watching us. Uh, we do interesting stuff. Yeah. We're inspiring people and uh, we will talk about hockey. Yeah. Thank it's you. Awesome. Thanks so much. Yeah.